A sales CRM helps you stay on top of your leads by storing all the information you have about them. Then you can track them through the sales process, whether that's a, a pipeline or the different touch points. But that is going to depend on you, your business, and the way you want to run things. So the look, the feel, the capabilities of CRMs are all going to differ from one to another. But at the end of the day, the tool exists to help you sell more and to sell better. However, all of this kind of just feels like another thing you have to update. And that all takes time, right? According to Sales Hacker, the average CRM user spends five and a half hours a week working in the CRM, entering customer info, setting tasks, finding contacts to follow up with. Also, just received word, I would like to welcome anyone and everyone who is tuning in now on Facebook. Uh, welcome to the program. Welcome to Growth Decoded. Um, five and a half hours a week in the CRM, prioritizing, trying to figure out what they should do next. Five and a half hours a week is 286 hours a year. That's over seven full work weeks just hanging out with your CRM. I mean, it's important, it's cool, but seven full work weeks? You're definitely going to have to spend time in there, but the goal is to spend less time moving information from over here to over there and more time actually selling because the CRM is helping you out. Also, what if you make a mistake? What if you make a typo? If you misspell an email address or a phone number? What if you forget something? A CRM can definitely help you stay on top of your leads. It keeps everything organized, sure, but who's going to keep me organized? How do I make sure that I stay on top of my own actions so that I can stay on top of my leads? Leah mentioned that a CRM could be the revenue engine of your business, but engines just run. Is there a way to make the CRM just run? Tabitha, am I missing something here? How do you turn the CRM from like another thing you have to update into this, this revenue engine? Well, Ernie, with automation. With automation. Yes, sales automation. Sales automation. Yeah, you know, all of those repetitive things that you were just talking about? Yes. We can automate those. We can automate those. Yes. It All right. It'd be super convenient. Let me take it from here. I'll help you out. Go. When you're trying to build your customer base, it's extremely important to show that you care about the relationship. CRMs are a great place to do that as you can easily store any and all information. What would make this even easier for you? Being able to automate the little tasks that hold you up during the day, of course. Automating the actual creation and the maintenance of your CRM can allow you more time in the day to be building relationships instead of bookkeeping them. You are taking that weight off your shoulders, freeing yourself to function more operatively day to day. There are probably many times throughout the day you find yourself back at your to-do list wondering, did I do this? Did I do that? Do I need to check something off? Add something? Automating your CRM can allow these tasks to be created, scheduled, completed, all by the workflows that you're setting up. What are the things that you're doing in your day? Create those same pa pathways through automation and you will be able to open your day for what matters most. Let's dive into what Leah thinks about all of this. So the, the way I kind of am, am seeing this, there's sort of two different stages or levels to a CRM, right? There's the CRM as a way to keep organized with, you know, the different touch points you've had with a contact, keep notes, um, have, have all the emails you've sent, the phone calls that you've had. And then as you've said, it's sort of a, it can be a tool that is the, the, the revenue engine um, for your business. So I'm just curious, what, what is the thing that sort of takes it from, from the one step to the, the second step where it actually is driving growth and revenue? Yeah, so I think I would look at that in a couple of ways. I think that if you really want it to become a revenue engine, you have to choose a provider or a platform that has more capabilities than simply some contacts and some notes and some emails and, you know, just the basics. Because organizing is one way that uh, a CRM can provide value, but there's a lot more opportunity in the ways that it can make your life easier and uh, the way that it can help you close more clients or customers and and run your business. So I think, you know, thinking about um, the a, a platform that doesn't just serve where you are right now, but the kind of business you want to be in the future. And if you know, oftentimes that might lead to you identifying special features like automations that you might not need on day one, but you will need and can benefit from in the future. And the second thing that I think you know, really um, bridges that gap and makes it, turns it from sort of holding information to this engine is, uh, well, first of all, using it. Um, 
you know, a lot of CRMs go unused, they collect digital dust and it's really, the CRM will not use itself. You have to make it a practice in your, uh, in your daily operations. I tell people to keep it open in a tab at all times and, uh, you know, keep coming back to it. So that's really, you know, one process. But the second is starting to notice the things that you uh, are doing over and over that can be automated. Mm. And I think that, um, you know, as it relates to automation, especially in a service business, a high touch business, or a, a business that's sort of new to CRM, um, I think there's a fear of sort of over automation or that something will be automated and it'll take a process out of your out of your hands and out of your control. And maybe a customer won't want, you know, they'll receive a message that they shouldn't get or something that feels generic or, you know, what have you. So coming out of the usage part of CRM is start to notice the things that you're doing over and over and use the CRM to, I guess the first step is um, make your life easier. It's almost like automated personal touch. So Mm -hmm. for example, um, you know, in a, a deal, for example, a deal that's been inactive for a time period and you wanna follow up. Don't automate the follow-up, automate the reminder for you to follow up. That's the first step. Then when you do that over and over, you can always grow. But I think starting to notice, especially, and this is of course an important point as a business owner, right? Starting to notice the things that you do over and over that there could be ways to make your life easier. That's what sort of takes the CRM from just holding information to really making your life easier and becoming a revenue engine for you. Wow. Yeah, that that's fantastic. That makes all of the sense in the world, you know, not just thinking about the the notification part, I think is is super important. Just notifying yourself, excuse me, like letting yourself know, hey, this is probably uh, a time where you should follow up with this person, whether it's a phone call or an email or even just a nudge to kind of check in with that person. 